All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get a PowerPoint or an existing slideshow. I have most of my things in PowerPoint, so I'm going to go into my drive. I'm going to find the units that we'll be working on in the first nine weeks, and uh, which will be chemistry. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up. So I hear I have one I want, arrangement of the periodic table. And going to open it with Google Slides. So okay, now so it's open with Google Slides, but if you notice um, at the top, it still says .pptx. So that means it's still saved as a PowerPoint. So if you notice on the um, toolbar, it doesn't give you any add-ons. In order to get the add-ons for Nearpod, which is what we want, we have to go to File, Save as Google Slides, right underneath make a copy. And now if you see on the toolbar, you have add-ons. Okay, and that's exactly what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and click on add-ons and we're going to add on Nearpod. So we open the Nearpod. And on the right side, you'll see a little Nearpod window open up. And you can now look at all the features you can add. You could add audio to your individual slides. You could add a BBC video, a collaborate, draw it, field trip, flow vocabulary, fill in the blanks, flip grid, graphing cal calculator, matching pairs, memory test, Nearpod 3D, open-ended question, PDF, Poll, quiz, FET simulation, slideshow, sway, time time, video, and web content. So that's just a little overview of what options you would have to integrate here with your new